welcome back. Now we are going forward with another question on microservices, and this is a very important question. What is the difference between orchestration and choreography in microservices architecture? So these are two different concepts in microservices. One is orchestration and the other is choreography. Because we have multiple microservices, we have to at times choose between these two or we can choose a combination of these two in the architecture for multiple microservices. So what is the difference? Like if you are already aware of it, then it's okay. Otherwise I can give some more information on this. So orchestration is a kind of a design where we rely on a central system to control and call various microservices to complete a task. Like if you have seen a big symphony opera where like orchestra is playing, so there is a person in the middle who is orchestrating everything. So that is a central system who is controlling and calling different different microservices at different times so that a task can be completed. Whereas in choreography, each microservice works like a state machine and reacts based on the input from other parts. So simply imagine like how choreography works. In choreography, in real life, you have like multiple kind of uh, dancers and they know based on the input or output from one dancer to another dancer, they know what is the next step they have to take. So which is like a state machine. So one event happens and the other guy starts doing the second event. That is the choreography. There is nobody, one person who is controlling everybody. So they have to keep on watching each other's steps. So in technical terms, it's like a state machine where the state machine keeps on changing its state. Then in orchestration, one important point is that it is a tightly coupled approach for integrating microservices because there is a central command. Whereas in choreography, there's loose coupling. So it depends on whatever event happens. Based on that event, the other service will take its action. If the event doesn't happen, then it's okay. So choreography based systems are more flexible and easy to change than orchestration based systems. Since there's loose coupling in choreography, you forget the benefit of flexibility and you change things without much side effect whereas in orchestration whenever you make a change you have to remember all the side effects all the regression testing so that the things keep on working as it is then comes another point between orchestration and choreography that in orchestration we often use synchronous calls although we can use async calls but most of the time, since it's real time, we always use synchronous calls. Whereas in choreography, we use asynchronous calls. So if in your architecture, you have a good support for asynchronous calls, you can use choreography. And the synchronous calls are very simple compared to asynchronous calls because uh, there you know immediately what is the response or not. Whereas in asynchronous call, you may get into like race condition or you can have like different kind of ordering of the messages. So those things can cause an issue, but there are solutions for that. So, but as of now, you have to remember that this is a, another difference between the orchestration and choreography, synchronous and asynchronous kind of calls. 